So I'm back with my um, G431 drone kit that STM do. Um, I've got it working sort of with um, simple FOC in open loop mode. Um, you can see the motor's turning here. Um, it wasn't too hard to do uh, because the, the three drivers on these chips here, um, they protect from sort of high and low gates being open is that they can't short circuit um, which is good um, this thing can go up to about 11 radians per second at the moment that's just basically kind of running out of current over there um, so yeah I can slow it down this little pot on here that you can, you can kind of use and slow it down a bit um, it does go through some weird oscillations at very low speeds. I think it's maybe a current thing. Just go the other way now as well. Let's go up the other way. And that was me going too fast there. Uh, basically the, the voltage limit kicking in. Just go. There we go. That's better. Yeah, um, I kind of need to do a bit of rewiring before I can take it any further because this cable and this connector um, is getting hot. So um, it doesn't really like half an amp going through it, I guess. They're just really thin wires. Um, the other thing I'm thinking of doing is that the app, so this hoverboard motor has also got a uh, hall sensor um, set up in, uh, set of leads. And this board on the back has got um, inputs for hall sensors. So that's quite interesting. And the last thing you know, that's interesting, I've mentioned before, is that there's three current sensors on the back of this. Um, so maybe I could try and get that working as well. Um, yeah, these boards are supposed to go up to like 40 amps, but I'm running them at sort of half an amp and they're already getting quite hot. So I think they're probably talking about the theoretical limit of, of the chips themselves. Um, obviously you need some big heat sinks or, or something like that to, to take it up beyond a few amps. Um, that's it really.